Hello, all you positive heads out there. It's so good to be back with all you beautiful reflections of the one source consciousness that creates and animates all things. If you're new to this podcast, of course, we're super happy to have you here. And if you've been listening and enjoying for a while, I would be super grateful if you would please take a moment to give us a review on Apple Podcasts. It's one of the best and simplest ways to pay it forward and help others find the show so that they too can tap into the powerful perspectives and positive vibrations we are collectively emanating. The other unique and magical way to share this show is by sending any friends you think would benefit from listening to this podcast, our Game with the Universe link at positivehead.com forward slash game also listed in the show notes, which will serve them up a quote-unquote random episode when they click it. Just instruct them before clicking the link to close their eyes for a moment and sincerely ask the universe to queue up the episode that contains the insight and perspectives that they most need to hear at this point in their life journey, and then click to listen to whatever episode is synchronistically served up to them. I have heard time and time again from people about the incredible results they received playing the game. So just tell your friends, magical results are guaranteed or their karma back. All right, all you positive heads, welcome, welcome. Here we grow again. It is a fantabulous Friday here in the studio as I record and... I'm doing just fine. I hope you are feeling inspired whenever, wherever you are receiving this broadcast. I've, uh, I've, uh, yeah, I've, I'm feeling inspired. Some really, really good, good energy and just developments in life unfolding. It's, it's, you know, it just it reiterates to me some of the things that have been going on. It's like inevitable if there's challenges, there is, you know, the sun comes out after the rain and, you know, it's all always about how gracefully we can, we can walk through challenges and until something, you know, really, really opens up, right? It's not if, but when. And so, yeah, I have, uh, uh actually uh, an inspiring kind of magical story to share with you guys today. Um, kind of reminiscent of the one I shared a few weeks ago, um, that has to do, uh, if you, if you, uh, remember the um, episode 2014 Ancestors Assistance from Beyond the Veil where I dreamed I actually connected um, psychically with my grandparents through the veil and they brought through someone that you know was an actor and I looked them up it's a whole story I, I won't share the whole thing again but it led to my son getting a role in a film uh, or a, I guess a not a film rather a uh, sort of pilot uh, episode for a new show on a World War II show that people are trying to put together. And yeah, um, you can go back and listen. It's a really cool, magical story. Ancestor Assistance from Beyond the Veil, uh, released in mid-July. But um, yeah, something similar happened again yesterday. It's like, whoa, the veil is thinning. And uh, so I want to uh, I want to share another inspiring story. And it has to do with my son again. Um, but before I do, I'm going to read a review on iTunes. I've been, um, yeah, just really appreciating um, receiving some more reviews lately. And it, like I've always said, it really fuels my fire and helps us to reach new people. So, yeah, uh, going back to, to reading some of those from time to time. This one came from Denate Ure, D-N-A-U-R-E. Uh, Listen since 2019, first podcast review. Finally, I figured out how to review Apple Podcast. It's easy to do, apparently, under the first paragraph under on the show page of the podcast. I love the intro song, by the way. I found this podcast when I typed in positive in Apple Podcast in 2019. I came from pretty conservative up upbringings and shifted to more open mindset. And logically, this makes a lot of sense to me and the positivity is on point. At my lowest moments, you've managed to lift me up and make my load a little lighter and it's heavy. Gratitude makes you feel good. It can change the way you're feeling and change your life. There's things we should have been taught when we were young that we have to dig for, but not here. The light here is emanating, and this podcast is a constant reminder that we can choose where we are, heading, write our story, and shed light on the world around us. I'm so grateful for the perspective you've shared, the positivity, the light. Thank you. Aw. 
thank you so much for taking the time to review and um yeah it really you said it best there gratitude is the gateway is the opening for all the good things in life it really is if you can find a way to tap into just being grateful for what you have you know that that is the truest shortest cut to abundance um is appreciating what you have as opposed to focusing on what you don't if you look around at the things you have sure there may be a vision of your life that could be more expanded and and more that you'd call in the partnership the, the resources the money the health whatever um and the fact that there's still more to reach for that makes the journey worthwhile right um, and so appreciating that there's more to come and knowing and tapping into the inevitability of it coming and, and your worthiness of it coming and, you know, enjoying the journey, enjoying, uh, the fact that you're not there. It's like Christmas Eve versus Christmas morning. I always compare, we, we celebrated Christmas when I was growing up. What's better? I don't know. Christmas Eve is pretty darn exciting. So it's like that. And if you can instead get into get away from the poor me, Christmas isn't here yet. I haven't gotten that thing or my, you know, this could be better or I want that. If you could just sidestep all of that and, and move into a gratitude and appreciation. It is uh, it's everything. It's everything. And um, yeah. So once again, thanks for the review. If you guys haven't reviewed Apple Podcasts is the place to do it to help us to reach more people. Um, and yeah. With that being said, I'm going to jump into the cool, inspiring story yesterday. So, yeah, what a cool one. Um, so my son, um, like I said, he, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we had the whole thing where I communicated with my parents through the, I mean, my grandparents through the veil, and it led to him sort of spiritual breadcrumbs that led to him landing a role in, in that show. And he's an actor, if you haven't ever heard me talk about him, Bradley. Um and his full name is Bradley Lane Beecham, right? And so yesterday he had a friend over he recently met. Um, and I actually, I think I'm going to bring her on the show. She's an astrologer, really cool. He was, you know, kind of like, you know, talking to me. Hey, I met, Dad, I met this this woman, uh, Alex. I really, really like her vibe. I feel like you should, you would connect with her really well. Maybe you could bring her on the podcast. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, maybe, sure, whatever, you know. And then he he said that a few days ago then he brought her over yesterday and uh, I dropped in with her for a few minutes and I actually shared she shared with me she's like yeah I'm an astrologer I do this specific type of astrology I wasn't familiar with um so instantly intrigued to learn more about that and um after what's in, transpired I think I will be having her on the show so stay tuned for that but yeah so as, as I'm talking to her she I share this story it comes up you know the the grandparent story and Bradley you know, when he was 18 years old, uh, I took him to uh, my friend Colby Rebel, who's been on the show many times, who's a medium. And she said, you know, he's going to be this famous actor. And oh, my gosh, Charlie Chaplin is a spirit guide. And I've never had a celebrity spirit guide come through before. And at the time, he hadn't begun acting. He was he had expressed a little interest. But now he's, you know, six years later, he's been in 35 productions in the last couple of years, you know, won Best Independent Actor in a, uh, in a short film in the LA Film Awards recently. And uh, he's just doing incredible with, you know, his dedication and uh, sincerity and approaching it from a, a love of the craft as an artist, not, you know, how do I get famous kind of energy. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, 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 it's going. His, his career's going. He's starting to be able to support himself with it. And, you know, uh, sky's the limit, right? So there was that, you know, his first sort of, you know, uh, this, this famous artist came through, uh, in that reading, a uh, medium and mediumship. And I was telling her about that and I told her, and then now this actor came through my grandparents a few weeks ago. Uh, if you can hear the whole story, episode 2014, but, uh, Peter Finch was a famous actor and it ended up tying into him getting a role and leading to him getting a role. And, um, she was, she expressed to me, she, you know, as after we were talking, I was sharing this, that, um, she has actually had medium ship uh, stuff start coming online recently, and she, ha she hasn't told a lot of people about it, but it's been, you know, pretty impactful on her life. So as, in addition to an astrologer, she is also a medium. And um, I was like, you know, of course, that's super cool. Well, anyway, we talked for a few minutes. They went and hung out more. Um, 
after they were going to, to, um, she was about to go home. Somehow it came up that she was about to take a trip to Seattle. And Bradley is like, oh my gosh, I'm going to Seattle. I think, I think he goes today as of this recording or tomorrow. She goes, he's like, oh, I'm about to go to Seattle. Um, what are you going for? You know, and, um, and he, Bradley's going because he was in a short film a year plus ago or so, and they're doing a screening of it and they wanted to fly him out. And then he has something in San Fran after that, that he's filming. And so, uh, he's going to be gone for a week or so from, from, you know, LA here. And, um, so they're going on the same day to Seattle and she's like, well, uh, actually I'm going because I've been having this medium, you know, I've been connecting with spirit, as I mentioned. And uh, funny enough, I've been connecting with the spirit of Lane Staley, who was um, the, the lead singer of Alice in Chains, the, the rock band. And um, as I mentioned a minute ago, Bradley's name is Bradley Lane Beecham. Uh, he was named after Lane Staley. Uh, actually, another Bradley, Bradley Knoll of Sublime, those were like, he's named after two to deceased rock stars, if you will. Uh, and she instantly, he, you know, when she told him like, oh, I'm going because I'm actually meeting with Lane's best friend um, and going to this tribute for his life, you know, and I've been getting these messages from him, connecting with him. And, um, and uh, Bradley, of course, told her like, well, oh, wow, my middle name is Lane. And she looked like she saw a ghost, he said, because she's like, oh my gosh, Lane told me I was going to be meeting someone with his name uh, in, in it, within a few days that, you know, very shortly, that would be very significant in, his li in her life. And here you are. And not only that, they're both going to Seattle on the same day, day randomly, uh, you know, for two different reasons. But uh, she's going... So, so Bradley comes in after he goes, Oh my gosh, dad, I got to tell you this story. This is magical. Like, Oh my God. You know, she, and, and I said, wow, you know, Brad, um, Allison Chains was like a, a big influence. You know, I think of my freshman year of college is around when they were really popular and my best friend growing up, um, he ended up, uh, I was in a band many years called Kundalini and he ended up being the lead singer of Kundalini. Uh, his name was Paul and, um, you know, I just, I always think of, uh, Paul singing. He has a similar voice to Lane. And so he would, you know, coming into the dorms, you know, he has a very loud voice, you know, singing Alice in Chain songs at the top of his lungs or in his car. You know, it's like very much how I think of Paul. That's one of the main artists he would be singing. And I was, and as Bradley told me the story, I'm like, wow, it makes me think of how much, you know, I listened to them back in the day and Paul belting out their songs all the time. He goes, Oh my gosh, that's who she's going to visit. His best friend's name uh, is Paul. And so, <laughs> wow, uh, it just, it, it's, it's, it's a trip, isn't it? It just continues the, the threads of connectivity. You know, I think back to 24 years ago, 25 years ago, when me and his mother decided to name him that, you know, we had no idea that there is a, there is a connection. There's an actual connection there. I mean, so much so that now... I mean, Bradley's had now three people come through on his behalf uh, through the veil, all like, you know, these famous artists, you know, Charlie Chaplin and Peter Finch, now Lane Staley, who obviously he's connected to, right? And you think about that. He, you know, Lane passed, uh, I'm pretty sure before Bradley was even born. And it's, you know, it's like, what's the history there? Like, these energies, they, they, they're all, it's like, we're all mashups of energy. I mean, obviously they're connected in some way. He's, he's feeding through Bradley and living in a way, you know, there's a connection there. And I, you know, I always think of what is the, what is the history of the souls, you know? And, um, it really gets me thinking about how, you know, I've heard it said before, uh, actually Teal Swan, who's been on the show years ago, um, talks about this and, and actually she's about to come back on the show for the first time in like five years in the coming weeks. Um, very interesting character. If you're not familiar, check out Teal, but she talks about how our souls are composite souls and that we're parts of other souls. And we kind of, you know, we come together in new ways to form, you know, okay, this particular avatar, Brandon Beecham is actually made up of past, you know, energies that are this, 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 and this, you know, it's almost like a recipe and it's really interesting to consider that how it 
it lives on through us or my grandfather speaking to me, you know, or grandmother coming through the veil. It's like they live on in me. Their soul is a part of my soul. And so, you know, taking this into your own life, everyone that's coming into your life is, you know, some some extension or part of your soul. Like this isn't just happening with me and my son. And, you know, yes, I'm sharing it here in, in a way that reaches you. But this is just, this is, this is happening on some level with all of us. Like these, these souls, your ancestors, they're coming through. Your, your, your friends from your soul family are coming through in unique ways and, and showing up in your life and in front of you. And, you know, who knows who that person standing in front of you is a hybrid of energetically you know, and what that they mean to you and what your connection is. And so I think it's, yeah, it's really important to, uh, you know, just, just realize that it all comes back around. It's not lost. Like Lane had a tragic death, you know, um, with, with drug overdose. And, but yet here he's now interacting with a medium and, you know, in a, in a meaningful way and is inspiring now a young actor who's named after him. And, you know, it's, it, the, 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 the show goes on. Right. And, and that's what I think is important in general, how I started this show. Like it isn't over if you haven't won and there's so much magic waiting for you to, um, experience and tap into. And these stories aren't just my stories. They're your stories because you're hearing them. They're a part of you. It's all an extension of you. I'm an extension of you in some way, shape or form. It's all so infinitely connected and inspired. And so tap into inspiration, tap into the, uh, gratitude of where you are in your journey. That is such an important part of your journey. It's like I, I did hot yoga this morning. It was brutal. And then I almost even left early. I was just like really kicking my butt. And then on the way home, rolling the windows down, feeling the fresh breeze on my drenched, you know, sweat soaked skin and clothes. I'm like, oh, this feels so incredible because of what I just went through. Right. And that's happening. That's a metaphor for everything in your life. So if you can tap into, oh, that cool breeze is coming and I'm going to appreciate it uh, on the way there and gracefully walk through the fire now you're you're navigating like a like a boss like the way your your higher self does and um that that is the path to to uh, expansion and upgrades i'm firmly convinced all right that's my story for today stick into it hope it has inspired you along your path and um you know i normally don't play songs from artists as big as <laughs> Alice in Chains, but it seems appropriate. Um, and this is one that uh, has a great lyric about, um, yeah, it's called No Excuses. And once you have no excuses for what's going on, then I know, as as he says here, you know what, I'm going to place two songs um, because there's another one that kind of speaks to a newer song that kind of speaks to what I've been talking about today chameleon by ataya saint saint sinner um really great song and uh that's what our souls are doing right constantly shape shifting into different avatars bodies energies so yeah how about a double whammy today this is alice in chains no excuses and ataya featuring saint sinner chameleon till next time journey well
a chameleon I've been one of all of y'all Take me as your prisoner Tell me what to do to ya I'm a chameleon I've been one of all of y'all I don't need to say too much I know what to do to ya Take it straight to the top mm -hmm. 